In this video, you're going to learn about the difference between a dirty bomb and a nuclear bomb, and also what you should do if you were dirty bombed. In Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, there is this multiplayer mode where your objective is to collect and deposit uranium in order to detonate some dirty bombs. While nuclear bombs and dirty bombs can both use uranium and are radioactive, what is the difference between the two? Well, the size of the impact. A dirty bomb is classified as a radiological weapon, not a nuclear weapon. There is no nuclear reaction in terms of fission or fusion, so the size of the explosion is relatively much smaller. Unfortunately, or fortunately, they were never used in real life, so there aren't any footage we can show, but if you've seen the sci-fi drama years and years, this is what a dirty bomb explosion looks like. It is basically a small-scale explosion with conventional explosive that aims not to kill by blast or heat, but to disperse radioactive materials all over the place. Contaminating an area with radioactive particles or making a place dirty can achieve the purpose of area denial, which is a defensive strategy in military to prevent the enemy from occupying or traveling across a region. When used in war, not only can a dirty bomb cause radiation poisoning among people, it can also contaminate the environment and render it unusable, leading to an economic impact. What is more is that it can cause mass hysteria, or mass panic that has widespread psychological effect that surpasses the actual health concern. The consequences of a dirty bomb are therefore more economic and social, rather than physical and radiological. While a radiation safety officer at Harvard concluded in 2004 that the highest risk of exposing to a dirty bomb is approximate to the risk of dying from cancer because of smoking, the CDC indicated in 2018 that a dirty bomb would not create enough radiation exposure to cause immediate serious illness, unless you were very close to the explosion. But if you, for whatever reason, were very close to the blast site, what should you do? While the CDC detailed on their website the steps you should take no matter you were indoors or outdoors. Most are actually pretty straightforward, such as mask up to avoid breathing in any radioactive dust, go indoors and stay inside with no aircon or ventilation, or simply wash yourself and get rid of your outer clothing. But the basic principles of dealing with dirty bombs are actually pretty similar to those dealing with nuclear fallouts. Increase distance, decrease exposure time, and shielding. If you can go far, go indoors. If you can get indoors, get covered. If you want to learn more about weapons of mass destruction, check out my videos right here, or visit my playlist on different types of weapons ranging from shotguns to stun grenades.